Hello to all. The sermon I'm about to read to you is taken from www.jrfsatan.org, which is written by High Priestess Maxine, the Brotherhood of the Snake Teachings of Ancient Egypt. The pyramid several, uh, served many purposes. One pur purpose was that of initiation and ceremonial rites, both for humans and for the magical workings of the gods. Many hieroglyphics uh, depict the gods turning their chakras with a rod-like instrument. Satan gave uh, this easy, uh, sorry, gave, Satan gave these energy centers to humanity. They are known as the bread of life, uh, uh, bread into us by God, Father Satan. There are seven primary chakras and many minor ones. The, the hook and the flail were turning tools for the primary chakras along the spine. A mural on the wall at Abu symbol depicts Horus holding a rod to the back of Fazili's head at a point that is the primary doorway to the eighth chakra above the crown of the head. The hook is moved up and down the, ro the rod to tune the chakra. Osiris is standing with, the, with an erection. Sexual energy is a pro, uh, paramount uh, complement in the rite of resurrection and mortality. Kundalini is sexual. The life force. Sexual energy is that of the life force, as it has the power to create life through another human being. The sexual en energy runs up and down the spine during the turning process. The Egyptian Ankh symbolizes eternal life, and eternal life is linked to the breath. The Ankh is also linked to sexual energy. One of the key teachings was the overcoming of fear. Only when one surpasses all personal fears can higher levels be ac accessed. Fear is the main emotion that prevents one from advancing spiritually. Fears uh, must uh, first be overcome here on earth. To reach this goal, the Egyptians built special temples along the Nile. There are 12, along with the Great Pyramid making 13. 1 plus 3 equals 4. All the verses in the action Bible referring to Satan and his demons, given certain mathematical applications, come out as 13. 4 was Satan's original number. The temple of Kom Ombo represents the second chakra and is de dedicated to polarity du or duality. The basis of sexuality and two gods are associated with it, Salbek, the crocodile god, and Horus. The ancient Egyptian, Egyptians would create experiences in these uh, experiences in these temples that would push in inmates uh, past their fears to become strong and competent in experiencing the unknown. There was a water hole full of crocodiles. The inmate, taking only one breath, would dive under water, not knowing what to expect, and the test was to emerge from the water in a different location from where from where he or she went in. In the tides uh, were unaware that the crocodiles were fully fed. They had to remain calm and in control to navigate the water. The sarcophagus is the king's chamber was used for the adepts as one of their final tests. The pyramids were built precisely along powerful earth energy lines known as Li lines and used by the gods in their ritual workings. Beneath the Great Pyramid are the House of Amenti, the Womb of the Earth. The death would lie in the sarcophagus in the correct position so a powerful beam would hit the third eye chakra. The death would then begin a specific type of meditation and the experience, it would, and, and the experience would be uh, so blissful some never returned. Part of the invitation was the conditioning, conditioning Sorry, conditioning of the student to remember to return to their bodies after their experiences. It's the experience. The final invitation also was held in the king's chamber. This four to five minute ceremony took place in the center of the room. The, an ank was drawn on the third eye of the init, on the inner type. Satan created the brotherhood of the snake for humans to be able to advance to higher levels of spirituality. Uh, the gods were, were the teachers. Most are now the ones we know as the demons. Some of the gods, such as Thoth uh, and Isis, escape uh, being labeled as demons. Isis is really asteroid, but not too many know this. They helped and taught humanity. References The God of Eden by William uh, Bramley, 1990, pages 53 uh, to 54.
The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life by Drunvalo Melchizedek, Volume 2, pages 262 to 268. This book is real RHP and New Agey, but contains a lot of useful information about ancient Egypt. Supporting references, the illustrated Egyptian Book of the Dead, a new translation with uh, commentary by Ramses Selim, 2001. Thank you for listening and hail Satan.